Alright, what's in here? The doctor. Hospital security. Alright, stay in cover. Alright. Shoot that guy. Shut in half sky, stay in cover. Blast him. The drone, I guess you don't have to stay in cover. Alright, kill the security guy. That's not cover, right? Is that cover? <laughs> Alright, you know what? You're going to cover. And then you... Go ahead and shoot the doctor. He's got a machete. Oh my god. Well, I just got hit for the first time. Minus I blocked. Great, reload. So again, we have to... By all means, come. You have proven yourself truly a fine specimen. I can think of a hundred uses for one such as you. The trivia player holds a collection of personal diaries. Some of the video files are missing. Alright, insert and playback trio. One. Got some cutout chips in last week. Tried them out on the patients with violent flashbacks, hoping it would at least mellow them out some. It was like night and day. Once the chip was installed, all of their psychotic break triggers were blocked. Miss Yatskin has gone four days without attacking the staff or herself. Alright. Number three. In today's interview, Miss Yaskin told me she hated her legs. She said they were stumpy, unattractive. I haven't done a transplant in years, but I offered to give her new legs. Her face lit up like it was Christmas. At least her cutout can block out the surgery and painful recovery process. At least her cutout can block out the surgery and painful recovery process. What does that mean? Her cutout? I've put in an order to the organ grinders to send me anything leggy. Maybe I'll get some elf legs in and see how she likes them. At least her cutout can block out the surgery and painful recovery process. What is cut out? Number six, I was walking to the organ grinders downtown and there was some kind of event happening at Mega Media. They had a puppet there from Maria Mercurio's label with the Persona Fix chip, in chip installed, making her an exact doppelganger. They were just using her to hog some SimSense re-release of a Mercurial live show, but it gave me an idea. A puppet in there from Maria Mercurial's label with a Persona Fix chip installed, making her an exact doppelganger. So there's a, there's like a celebrity? And they put the celebrity's personality into a different body to make her like a, a celebrity doppelganger. That's very interesting. The cutouts, the body modifications, and my healthy supply of patience. I'm perfectly set up to be a Bunraku fixer. If I can find a supplier for Persona Fix chips, I can sell full service Bankaru. Even program the behavior trees. Ah, uh, Banraku, I mean. What's a Banraku? Is that a sex slave? <laughs> what? what is a Banraku? Cut out body mother. So he's kind of. He's working with memory. <coughs> memory, personality, bodies. And he's just like producing new humans, or new, new, new things, new beings. 
found a buyer for the first Bunraku, a man in the barrens after offered me 20,000 yen for the female troll I've been modifying. He likes them big, he says. All that's left is to arrange delivery. He says he can put me in touch with some more buyers if I accommodate special orders. These morons' lives are already over anyway. At least they could do is line my pockets. Alright, okay, they, they, they are sex slaves. Or, you know, sex puppets, I guess. Cool. I mean, messed up, but cool. <laughs> it's, you like, you take different body parts, sew them together, give them somebody else's brain chip, and then, <laughs> and then you have like a, like a, like a zombie, like a goo. And then you can program their personality. And then you can have personal sex slaves. <laughs> I mean, that's, that's super messed up, but also really cool. <laughs> Um, alright, we're gonna leave the Trivet player. They put the they put this right here so you can get the story at the very end. Um Alright, so I guess we're moving through to the next part. Uh I need to move my guy. Uh, you, you turn off. And then we're gonna... Move our way to the exit. I can't open these, right? Like this, I can't open this, right? I should check this room. There might be loot in here. I didn't really go in there. I have checked everywhere else. Oh wait, is this the same thing again? It's the same thing again. Right, let me let me look in here. All right, there's nothing. Nothing interactable. I did go in here, maybe I should go check here again. <laughs> did I see look in this room properly? Alright, nothing's in there. I mean what is this? Is that just decoration or can I go in there? Right, I can't go in there, right? Emerald City Ripper. Before you is a medical lab turned torture chamber. The smell of old blood and decayed flesh permeates the room. Gory stains speak of the body's fluids spilled without regard for well-being or hygiene. There are bodies, probably former patients, trapped in hideous machines, enduring horrific experiments. Cool. The subjects you can see all appear dead. Any that aren't must wish they were. You've chased Holmes to his lair, just as his face reveals an ugly soul, so does his safe haven, it would seem. Holmes, Silas, the Emerald City Ripper, the elf is a monster beyond compare. It's time to end this. Um, so, the, the Holmes, Dr. Holmes, he has control over this mental asylum. And here, he has pretty much, well, he has a lot of bodies. Maybe he doesn't have all the bodies he wants. But if he just, like, sells all the bodies in here, he can make a lot of money. The question is, why did he look beyond the the hospital to look for body parts? Because the only reason we're tracing, we're tracking him down is because there are dead bodies 
outside, right? There are people getting killed out in Seattle and body parts being taken. And that has led the police and has, has led us to track him down and now we're going to kill him. If he didn't get greedy, if he just like stuck to the bodies in the hospital, if he didn't go outside to collect body parts, he wouldn't get into this sort of trouble, right? The, the police wouldn't notice if he didn't leave bodies out in the city. You see what I mean? What I'm saying is, if he was a bit more subtle about this, he would get away with it. Anyway, let's continue. Alright, we continue to be in combat. Like the whole, this whole encounter has pretty much been continuous combat. Let's send the drone in first. Another intercom crackles at your elbow. One solid blow would offer a moment of blessed silence, but this is also a rare chance to get a word in on the good doctor, who greets you with more of his chittering laughter. You're a persistent one, a fine specimen indeed. We both know how this ends, so let's just get to it already. How much longer are you gonna hide, Doctor? Why don't we settle this face to face, friend? <laughs> friend! Few friends for a face such as mine. Would we take him in alive? If he if we can get him alive, would we take him alive to the police? I guess we would. Maybe we don't have to shoot him. Though I have one associate I would be happy to introduce you to. Yeah, no, the troll, I know. We're gonna kill them too. Petercell, subdue them. Petercell is... Hired mage, hired mage? Is that Petercell? He gets shot for 14. And then you're gonna turn on the other one. 14, I should probably get closer, right? Look into cover. Oh, can't see him. Get the surgeon. Nope. Or is that Peter Zell? That's P okay, that's Peter Zell. We found Peter Zell, you guys. Um, 50%. I wish you didn't suck so bad. So the SMG lady has to be closer to shoot anything. You... You have... You have really good aim, for some reason. No, oh, she's still alive. I should deal with Peter Zell. Oh my god, wait, he's got AOE... <laughs> he's got an AOE melee attack. Oh, that's not good. Um, that, you know, that's not good. Alright, 10, 20, Peter Zell has got a lot of health. He's got silly amounts of health. Can't see him. Alright, got rid of that guy, that's good. 99. Alright, 10 and... Why do you have so much health? No, what are you doing? He's right in front, it's a big ass troll right in front of you, Bart. How do you not hit him? Oh man, my Bart's getting messed up. Oh my god. <laughs> I lost four armor. Oh, she escaped? Well, fair enough. My bots are seriously getting messed up. Minus I blocked. Alright, let's go ahead and shoot Hope instead. That's not good. Please kill him. Is he not dead? How is he not dead? Alright, he's dead now. 
Ah. Oh, she escaped. I'm acided. Slow haste. Twenty percent. I don't. You know what? Oh, I can't do that. Slow. Doesn't really matter if I slow him. All right, shoot him. Shoot him again. Out of no. I'm out of ammo. Reload. Shannon's gonna be in trouble if I don't finish this fight real soon. Uh, you can aim shot. Nice. Why is the fight still going? Can I get the bot talk to him? <laughs> the bot's gonna talk to him! <laughs> Holmes drops to the ground, the light in his eyes fading fast, but something keeps the shriveled husk of his soul stuck to this mortal coil for a few mo moments more. We couldn't take him in alive. This is a place of broken things. I, re I remake them. She... she asked me to remake her. She... He manages one more laugh, his glazed eyes rolling towards a workbench ac across the way. She was playing. Both of us. Action points upgraded! Plus one action point! Oh yeah, your experience has increased your ability to operate in dangerous situations. Hey, that's cool! <laughs> so this is not part of the character system, like, this is part of the story. Because it's not in the character sheet. Then, with a final bloody whimper, the Emerald City Ripper breathes his last. But we're not done here. She's still acided. Ah, the mage got away though. Can I can I get her? <laughs> Should I check for loot? Nothing there. Now I have one move. Great. Alright, she Shannon is no longer acided. Oh, what's that? What is that? Oh, Shannon can activate things dead things. Oh, different characters have different abilities. Like no one else can act Oh the green okay, the green the green sparkles is for the shamans. Very interesting. There's nothing in there, right? Alright, she's still running away. So what happens if Shannon activates this? Oh my god. <laughs> what? what is that? What is that? What are you? What are you? <laughs> what on earth are you? Acid stream confusion. The enemy switches to your team and you control them last two rounds. Asses, what are you? What is this? What is that? <laughs> okay, Shaman can just like create zombies out of out of like a patch of blood.